guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flame so in this video we're gonna talk about kimmy cakes talking about her mom having to practically drink a lot as early as five every day so that she could raise six kids now if you're not aware kim kardashian has Vogue, uh, has braced the cover of Vogue Italia. Now, this is the same magazine she was talking about, yay, being a single mom of four, you know, as Tasha K would ask, who's gonna tell her? Because she, you know, fought to be a single mom, then is complaining about being a single mom, irrespective of the fact that we're looking at a billionaire. We're not talking about a woman working on a minimum wage job, paying rent, you know, can't afford a second pair of hands and all of that like kim af can afford and does afford a few second pairs of hand and with a hefty um child settlement payment listen this girl is living her best life but she wants to be out here being a struggling mom anyways we're talking about what she's saying about her mom you know she's saying that her mom raised six kids six big personalities and she's talking about her mom drinking now if you're not aware of a girl kimmy cakes she has always had a problem with her mom's drinking um problem chris jenner does drink and she drinks and enjoys herself um it's not severe if you ask me to be very honest even though sometimes she does get drunk um so I understand like as a child, you wouldn't want to see your mom at this age drinking until she's drunk, passed out, peeing on herself and all of that, getting lost. And based on what we have seen and the pranks that Kim has pulled, this, well, it's not just Kim, but she and her friends, you know, and her other siblings, these are just some of the things that has happened to Kris Jenner. But um, Kim... I don't think she's really looking into, you know, some factors that um, came into play. Because if you look at the time that her mom started having, you know, kids, drinking was like a way of socializing back in, back in the days. While Hollywood was still strongly developed, people had their money and everything. Entertainment isn't the way... It is today so their thing was getting together having cocktails and that is the reason why you have so many old hollywood stars that are caught up that were caught up at that point in drugs and alcohol you know and different stuff because people met more there wasn't this social media and people you know meeting place being social media today back in the day it was meeting up together having a party at his house her house having some cocktails and that's it but um if we're looking at chris is still drinking today i mean let's be honest she has to drink some of that sorrows away you know from lying on ray j to the many you know alleged um shady business deals that they have conducted i mean she has to drink her sorrows away so she can sleep peacefully at night. And on a more serious note, all right, let's cut the joke out. Chris Jenner really do love to have fun. And that is what most people loves and admires about her. And she does really work hard. And also, I believe that Chris Jenner is still handling the stress of her adult kids, you know, we know about Rob Kardashian, his, you know, situation and Rob taking the backseat because really the men does take the backseat in this family while the women are expected to step up, show up, show out, be successful, post nude if you have to, a sex tape or two if you have to, but you've got to make it, right? But these girls, when you look at them, you know, Kris Jenner has a goal. She has a vision for her daughters. And let me tell you something. You cannot knock her down for that. Can you knock her down for her shady business deal? Hell yeah, you can. But when it comes to the vision and the goals that she has for her daughters, you cannot knock her down for that. And when you really look about it, um, 
you know, we have Kimmy Cakes who consistently talks about Ye so that she can remain relevant. Her mom, Chris, really doesn't want that for her. But um, I believe that she's like, oh my God, whatever we have to do to make it, we're going to do it to make it. Pass me a drink because this woman is old enough to know how to get a man, keep him, and marry. So maybe Chris Jenner is like, Kanye has remarried, you know, and you are telling the world that he's the bad guy and you're not remarried. Come on, you need to have a man have someone of influence and power. And this is why Kim is still single, you know, because she doesn't want to make that Pete Davidson mistake. After Ye, she dated down, she saw where that affected her image. And um, it's not just that she dated down, she was just very immature about it. And she was hell bent on revenge. And Karma was like, bitch, really? <laughs> okay, I see you. <laughs> Let me balance the scale for you, honey. So when Karma balanced that scale, you know, she realized that it ruined her reputation. Y Ye had taken years to build Kim's reputation up. Ye has fought against practically everyone in the industry you know, who disrespected Kim and told him that he was marrying a passer own girl. Everyone has just been with this woman in the industry and he should not marry to her. And the moment that he proved to everyone that he's going to marry her, he's going to love her, cherish her, respect her, put her on a pedestal. Some of the guys in the industry were still not liking it for ye, you know, but guess what? I believe that anyone Ye had chosen, people would still have a problem. But Ye is a firm believer in his choices and he went to war against those men for his wife. His wife gained that respect. She was invited to red carpet events, you know, just by way of being with him. Because before Ye, people saw Kim as trash, cheap trash. No one wanted her around, which he has spoken about. She said without Ye, people wouldn't have invited her onto red carpets and she was able to gain access through many doors because of her husband, right? So, Ye worked on that. She went back and she dated Pete and she wasn't like, you know, a normal relationship. She had to prove a point. I don't know what a fin point you have to prove when you're in your 40s <laughs> and wealthy besides live a happy life. But she had, she had to prove a point. So, she did some really messed up stuff with Pete and people immediately got the reminder of who she was before Kanye. And the internet was like, okay, so Kanye was the one who was keeping you grounded. We really see your true colors and ain't no changing you. Ain't no turning a hoe into a housewife. Kanye was head um, over himself with that. So... With Chris Jenner, no, I believe that Chris Jenner still has a lot to handle because, you know, when you look at what Kim is currently going through, what she said to her mom, you know, her mom is their support system and she doesn't give up. Even when they're out of line, disrespectful, she ensures that even when they're failing, she fights tooth and nail to ensure that these girls, brands, still stand let's take a look at kylie kylie you know with the support and friendship of Haley bieber they shaded selena gomez listen selena gomez is that individual that grew up with the world for some people she's your sister their aunt their mom their best friend the daughter they never had, the niece they never had. And then when the world had to watch Selena Gomez fighting for her life, you know, doing back-to-back -back surgeries, multiple surgeries, just to stay alive. But then, here comes two girls who really doesn't know what it's like to fight for anything. And with Selena Gomez being a sweetheart, so when Kylie did that mess, Chris Jenner had to get to work to practically fix Kylie's brand. Just imagine that. And this woman should be retiring, but she can't because she has to, you know, keep holding her girls down. And just imagine you having this woman that you've taught the tricks and charade and every little mischievous thing about 
the, um, you know, business of Hollywood, but they're still not getting it. Um, she can't retire and she's still drinking. And as such, you know, Kim calling her a drunk um, is very unfair. I think that Kim is really bothered by her mom's drinking. But at the same time, she needs to look into the fact that there are other things that, you know, contributes to her mom's drinking. And I always said that, I've always said that everyone has their poison, you know, for Kris Jenner, her poison is drinking. For some people, their poison is, is something just, just really, really horrible. Some people's fixes are like a fast car. Some it's makeup, it's the luxury end bag, it's the luxury shoe. Everyone is different. So, you know, if Kris Jenner's fix is her a um, little drinking to keep her alive and to make her feel good after a stressful day or, you know, just to deal with a stressful day. You know, she's not hurting anyone. She's not arming anyone. She's just living her life on her terms. And, you know, she's going to keep it sexy. She's going to keep it cute. And she's going to keep it damn trashy as well <laughs> on the internet talking about she loves the skirt at her age. So you know that Kris Jenner will go above and beyond to ensure that the family empire's re empire remains intact. And that in itself can be a lot for anyone to handle and deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Chances are, if Kim had another mom, she would have flee to Cuba on a boat <laughs> and just tossed her U.S. passport in the ocean. So you know what, see ya. I'm just gonna lay low in Cuba or Jamaica because guess what, I can't do this. But um, Kris Jenner is not doing that. She's doing the best that she knows how to. Not how you nor I know how to, but the best that she knows how to. And once she's not hurting anyone, listen, I am on board for it. I love um, Chris Jenner's fun side, not the shady business deal side, not the bullying side. But I love the fact that at her age, she definitely, she definitely knows how to have fun. She can thrive and function in any circle. It doesn't matter the age group. If she's among the young girls and they're doing a keg stand, you bet your ass, Kris Jenner is going to do that keg stand and she's going to do it better than any of the young ends there. So Kim needs to cut her mom some slacks and stop talking about that woman and her little drinking problem. It's not severe because um, when you look at a Wendy Williams, what Wendy Williams is going through, that's the point of severity. Kris Jenner has some amount of control. She gets the job done and she doesn't need to be in rehab. Let her live her life and stop talking about it. Stop talking about how she had to raise six kids on alcohol. It's really given the sense that you're saying your mom has a problem when she's just living on her means and terms. But guys, that's all. Just That's just my take on that interview from our girl Kimmy Cakes. Kimmy Cakes herself is now having like caffeine and a little alcohol because she was never a drinker. She never had caffeine. So she started last year. She, I don't think that she's going to get the drinking thing, um, you know, down. I think she may have some little sweet cocktails that doesn't have any alcohol or, you know, with small amount of alcohol. Not not having any alcohol, but small amount. But I don't think that she's going to really get to a point of, you know, drinking to self-soothe or anything like that. You know, Kim is a <laughs> narcissist. She gets high on, you know, taking, you know, she's a taker. So she gets high on that. But guess what? They're going to get her ass. That's all I have to share in this video with you guys. See you all next time. Bye, guys.